Hey goodies, welcome back to the channel. Nastasia here, also known as Keto Jamaican Girl. For those of you who are new here on this channel, I share keto tips, keto tricks, and delicious keto recipes full of flavor. <laughs> so I'm coming back to you guys today with another what I eat in a day, but I figure I start from my first, first activity. I'm out running some early morning errands and I just wanted to tell you guys about yesterday. So yesterday was the first day in about, I wanna say two weeks or so, where I wasn't able to fast like how I usually do, because usually I eat maybe two good meals a day and maybe a snack, but most days I'm able to eat just two good meals and do my intermittent fasting. But girl, yesterday, yesterday I was starving. I don't know what happened to me yesterday. I had egg, bacon, and some vegetables with a, a low carb wrap. And after I ate that, I was, I, would, I didn't eat anything that had carbs in it or that was not keto approved. I was eating keto approved foods, but I was eating a lot more than I usually would, or I was wanting to eat a lot more than I usually would. I found myself snacking more than usual. So what I learned was, um, in the female body, so this is for the females, around the time we're coming up to our cycles, our metabolism increases. So then that's why we get cravings. But it wasn't so much cravings for me. I didn't want anything specific, but I was hungry. Like I just wanted to eat. <laughs> I just wanted to eat, eat and eat. But um, I kept it keto. I did not eat anything bad, but I definitely ate more than I usually would. And it was comforting to find out that I'm not just a greedy person. <laughs> That was just a little tidbit I want to share with you guys. Sometimes when your hunger is not normal, it may have something to do with um, some hormonal changes in your body and also what's going on coming up to the cycle in terms of you know physiological changes um, related to our metabolism. So that was cool to find out. So I'm not greedy, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna run my errands right now and I'll see you guys at my first meal of the day. Hopefully I'll do a little better today, but if I'm hungry, I'm about to eat, period. I'm not starving myself, but we're gonna keep it keto. So I'll see you guys. So I'm headed into Target and it doesn't make sense how excited I am to go in there. It almost feels like I'm about to go to a theme park. I am so <laughs> Don't judge me, I am so excited. I'm going to behave myself. I'm going to stick to my budget, but I'm definitely going to get some Starbucks and I'm going to walk very slowly through the aisles and take this momcation that I deserve, okay? Don't judge me, but yeah, let's go to Target. <laughs> Okay, so I enjoyed my time in Target. That was very therapeutic. I got my Starbucks. I got a venti iced coffee with five pumps sugar-free Sindolce, two pumps sugar-free vanilla, no classic. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, I got that. I asked for heavy cream on the side because you know they can be a little heavy-handed, so now I shall add my heavy cream by myself so I can have the right amount. Now I'm going to finish up my errands and head back and I'll see you guys at my second meal because I guess this is a meal because I'm adding heavy cream and stuff but yeah I'll see you guys at my next meal if you are a true goody crew member you guys know I love these sausages I got them from Costco they're keto friendly no sugar added and they are very spicy and yummy so I'm going to have some of that with some um, egg this morning I think I'm gonna make a, like a nice little omelet nothing fancy but I'm gonna make sure I make a sufficient amount to keep me full and not snacking like I was yesterday so I'm going to uh, make three eggs um, season it up make sure it has lots of flavor you guys know I am the girl that does keto with what but flavor so I put some black pepper in there some seasoned salt and now I'm gonna put some cheese in there for additional fat as well and I use ghee um, that was the um, oil that you saw me put in there that was ghee in addition to the egg I'm going to have some sausage with that as I told you before and I just made sure to add some water to help it cook without burning and then finish it off so it can brown up and yeah it doesn't want to come to the plate but I'm gonna get it there I'm having some sausage and egg. It's a perfect combo, and I'm almost sure this is going to keep me full um, until dinner, which should be um, very interesting because I'm trying something different tonight. But yeah, let's go eat this, and I'll see you at my next meal. 
Now I've been telling you guys that I have um, a couple of vegan friends and family members. So they share some ideas with me every now and again. And one of the ones that have been shared with me is fried green tomatoes. So I'm going to make that. And I figured since I'll be frying green tomatoes, I might as well fry some eggplant as well. So here I'm prepping the eggplant. I cut it up into circular shapes. And now I'm adding some salt to them to draw out some of the water um, before I start um, breading them and making my fried or breaded eggplants because I'm I'm going to do the eggplants in the oven and I'm going to actually fry the green tomatoes um, to save some time because I'm trying to get dinner prepared um, in time for my whole family to eat together and not too late. So yeah, we're going to be doing the eggplant in the oven and I'm going to be frying um, the green tomatoes. So here I'm just finishing up the cutting and the prepping with salt just to draw any excess water and not have... Um, the eggplants be soggy or popping in the oil so now i'm going to quickly cut up these um, green tomato pieces um, my husband and my daughter they were tasting the green tomatoes as i was cutting them up and they said it has a tart taste to it um, but they enjoyed it just as is without it being fried so that's something to note if you wanted to try these and um as you know, tomatoes are something that they tell you on keto to just be careful with in terms of um, the carbs and sugars. So I'm not going to be eating as much of the green tomatoes as I am going to be eating the eggplants. So now I'm going to be getting um, all of my stations ready to start breading my eggplants and my green tomatoes. So here I just cracked the egg here and then to the two other bowls I'm going to add my breading. And my breading is going to be um, Parmesan cheese and almond flour. And I'm also going to be looking into using um, the protein powder that the Goody Crew members have been encouraging me to use. So here I'm going to use half a cup of almond flour. And into that I'm going to add about a quarter cup of um, Parmesan cheese. Um, just keep in mind that Parmesan cheese is pretty salty. So if you're going to add seasoning to this breading here, which I... Um, I'm not going to do for the eggplant, but I am going to do it for the tomatoes. Um, if you're going to be adding any season, just keep in mind that the Parmesan cheese is quite salty. So here I'm using my hand just to mix up um, that part of the breading. And then here I'm going to be adding just about a scoop of the whey protein. And remember, I'm using whey protein isolate. That's the one that you're supposed to use if you want to use it to replace breading. This is absolutely optional. I could have definitely done this without the protein powder but i just wanted to give it another try i have tried it already with my fried pork chops so i figured i tried it here again just to add additional breading um, to my breaded eggplants and my fried green tomatoes so now that i have my stations prepared i uh, here i'm adding some crushed um, pork rinds i keep like a stash crushed just for the times when I want to fry foods. And this is gonna add like additional crunch um, to the breading. And this is um, optional as well. This is something I did on the fly. But um, yeah, I just wanted to have it to be extra crunchy. So here I dip my eggplant in the egg and then I dip it into the protein powder, which is absolutely optional. And then I'm going to dip it right back into the egg again because when you double dip, you get extra breading and extra crunch. And in here, I'm going to add it lastly into the almond flour, Parmesan cheese, and pork rind mixture. And I'm gonna say it one more time. This could have been the breading in and of itself because it's so flavorful, so crunchy. I was just doing the protein powder just to try a thing, you know, just to try something. So while I'm breading the rest of my eggplant, I went ahead and turned on my oven to preheat it at 400 degrees. And then once I get all of this breaded and placed onto the foil, I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 15 minutes, flip it, and then um, let the top or what would now be the bottom, let that part brown a little bit more, maybe for about five seven minutes and then our um, breaded eggplants will be ready so now i'm going to start prepping my green tomatoes and my husband my handy dandy sous chef is showing that i'm going to season with my um all-purpose seasoning <laughs> he has his hand all in the camera but he's showing that i'm going to add this seasoning um to the breading this time because we're going to add a little bit more flavor um to our fried green tomatoes so i have my egg my protein power powder and um the almond flour and parmesan cheese and pork rind uh, mix here for the fried green tomatoes so again dip it in the egg dip it in the protein powder dip it in the breading the almond flour parmesan mixture and i 
um, went back to the egg just to make sure that the outer um, breading of almond flour and Parmesan cheese make sure that sticks there as well so we're going to do that to all of our tomato pieces and then we'll be ready to fry all of our green tomatoes I'm so excited to try this because um, I have a friend who is vegan and she's been raving about um, these fried green tomatoes so I am very excited about trying this but doing this in my little keto way So this is a picture of our completed dinner. I cooked up some ground beef with peppers and onions. You guys know how to cook ground beef, so I didn't show that here. But um, I topped that on top of um, my plate of eggplant and fried green tomatoes. I was easy on the fried green tomatoes, even though they were absolutely delicious. And I had um, more eggplant than tomatoes, and I ate it with meat. And guys, it was so filling and so delicious. After dinner, I was feeling a little snackish, and thank God I had my chocolate zucchini muffins on hand. So I added some um, butter pecan rebel ice cream. If you have not tried this rebel ice cream, you need to get on it. It tastes like the real deal, if not better. So I added about two scoops of rebel ice cream to my warmed up chocolate zucchini muffin. And um, I'm just gonna give this to myself as a little nightcap so that I won't snack on anything that isn't keto friendly. And um, this is one of the best desserts I've ever, ever, ever had. The chocolate, the moistness, the ice cream, the combo, perfect. If you made it with me to the end of this video, go ahead and throw up that fried egg emoji so I know that you are riding with me in this goodie crew. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you some ideas. If it did, let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to like and comment as it helped my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.